modifiers 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 so much to explore very useful and powerful at the same time yet very few can tap the potential of it why because the lack of information no 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 i can't let that happen in this masterclass we'll together discover the potential which lays behind this single video about modifiers to start with let's understand why modifiers and what they are now here i have a project open in davinci resolve and i'm already in my fusion page now my workspace might be a little bit different from yours because many of you commented in the last video where I explained mass notes. If you haven't watched it, go watch it right now. There were two things which you were very, very crazy about. First, the intro which I made. Yeah, this one. And second, the workspace which I'm using. So if you want the same workspace, actually it's really simple to have. You just need to go to workspace and layout presets and fusion presets. You just need to choose midflow and boom. Now I have nodes enabled, I have my viewer and also my inspector. That's it. Let's take a transform node. Let me just take an ellipse, take the output of it and drag it to the input of this transform. And let me just view it. So I have this basic little ellipse, right? Very simple. Let me just make it smaller. And all this is explained in the previous video. Okay. I'm able to change the size and everything. Let me just put it over here. And for example, let's just create an animation. I go to the zero frame and put a center X and Y keyframe over here and also size. Now I'll come ahead onto 120th. This is a 60 frame clip. So 120 frames will be two seconds. So on two seconds. I want it to be here and this size should be as it is but in between the size should increase something like this for example also because now I change the position of the ellipse, pivot is set here which I don't want I want the pivot to be in somewhere around this you know between over here now let's see the animation I'll play from beginning it's really simple let me just take my end frame range and put it on 120 so that it loops and this is it right now what's crazy is for example if i took this rectangle and i want the same settings of this transform to be applied onto this rectangle okay which i have over here let me just change the size of it too so what you guys will think is okay you can do one thing i can just come over here onto this and hit control c and hit control shift v well you're right you can create an instance and with that if i attach both of these together you have something and you are pretty much correct yes we have something and we have the same settings in fact even if i come here and change the angle everything will be changed if i change the aspect ratio of both aspect ratio will be changed but it's an instance you can't do more than this in this okay and if you don't choose instance and you just simply copy it just like this control c and control v and then if you change some settings in transform first you'll need to change each and every setting in this transform second again which is very tedious less efficient and not at all customizable whereas if you use modifiers it's less time taking very efficient and highly highly customizable okay now you know why modify let's talk about what are modifiers so for that i have this example to show to you i have this transform okay i have this first rectangle over here and this transform all right then i have the second rectangle over here and the transform is somewhere now for example if i need a setting where if the size of this rectangle increases then this rectangle will rotate very simple very basic right you can do this with expressions and modifiers too now expressions are also really really very very powerful and yet very few can tap the potential of it same thing okay but in this one we're talking about modifiers we'll be having expressions soon in this explain series so stay tuned okay if you haven't liked this video till yet so go right now and like this video subscribe to the channel and press that notification bell because many many amazing tutorial content coming soon how will you do that now first thing which i'll do is i'll come onto this transform one underscore one go to zero one and add a keyframe of the size to somewhere around 1.125 and add a keyframe all right i'll go to frame number 120th and increase the size of it simple basic keyframe right nothing much special about it and i'll type 1.95 or maybe 2 is the way to go okay i just increase it a lot now what i want is as the number of the size is getting increased i want this angle to be increased too now the expression way would be i can come over here first of all i'll pin this transform come to this transform double click onto this angles well Value, hit equals and enter now we have that expression box i'll pick web with this plus icon over here and select size now it will be really small value because i'm increasing the size value and it is just copying it as it is it of course will be very very small what i can do is i can come here and multiply it so some crazy number like maybe hundred or thousand will do the work and now if you will play now you can see something is happening so instead of thousand let me just choose 250 and now if i'll play from the beginning you can see its angle values are changing now if i don't do an animation 
position so if i just remove the keyframes and just change it over here you can see the angle is changing as the size is increasing or decreasing how will we do it with modifiers too well again it's very very simple i'll right click and remove this expression right click go to modify with and now i'll choose calculation okay very basic and simple modifiers but for that we need to publish that value and how do we publish something is by right clicking under that value and choosing publish now what does this mean this is also a modifier now because i have both of these selected in my inspector that's why all the modifiers are coming here i have the calculation of this transform one and also the size published value of this transform one underscore one which is transfer two in our case let me just change the name of it so that it's a little bit easier for you to understand now since we have the size value of it published over here i can take and put this anywhere i want what i'll do is i'll come to this calculation and here i'll change the first operand value here so i'll right click over here choose connect two and we have t2 and we have size value published over here see that's all possible with that published value because we have published it that's why it's available over here now the first operand is set to like that you can see it's 0.36 which is what we wanted right what i can do or i will do is come to this operator instead of add i'll do multiply and type here 250 you see it's the same like expressions but the thing is now we have power of modifiers in that expression we did the same thing we just type this value which was transform to size then we put a star sign over there and multiplied it with 250 we're doing the same thing but now we have different values and you know we can do a lot of cool things with it instead of just typing it in a box and that's it it's blocked now you can't do anything over here but in modifiers you can just customize a setting and then customize that setting and then customize upon that and just keep customizing and you know just go on and go on and on and on and now you have completed your nothing is happening because we don't have any other keyframe to be followed over here now i'll go over here in the size if i increase or decrease the size it's working see what else you need but right now it's not animated so to animate it now i'll go to modifiers and what i can do is i can again take a modifier and put it into this value so what i'll do is i'll right click choose modify with and I'll let me choose anim curves and now if i'll play well it's happening anim curves is a little bit slow over here we can just come to modifiers and i'll talk about anim curves in detail later okay just like path and every modifier will be explained it's just that you just need to wait a little bit now i can just increase the scale value over here to something like maybe two or maybe 10 if i want so you know yeah something like that maybe 10 is too much let's change it to five and boom you have your basic simple animation guys what else do you need and it's all done with modifiers and we just use simple two three modifiers that's it nothing else and you have your basic simple animation and you can make so so cool things with it you don't even have an idea because you haven't tapped the potential again i'm saying this and i'll say this again and again people haven't tapped the potential of fusion okay i know it's so powerful which normal people don't know they'll just use it just scratch the basics or surface of it and they'll go away no guys you need to understand the winch results fusion is very very powerful the node system itself is very powerful there's a reason in cg or 3d houdini has set a standard okay because it's very powerful the node system itself is so powerful rather than layers or anything else i'm not a promoter of fusion okay it's not black magic is not giving me some money or something like that it's just that i have used it and i know and i have studied it and you need to do too you can be creative okay you can imagine things but there's no benefit in just imagining or just thinking of a thing and not executing it not applying it not implementing it okay and you can only implement whatever you think or imagine when you know the technicals of that stuff for example in our case you can only create things if you know the technicals of the fusion workspace of the no and you know all of this and in case if you're wondering where to learn from well i'm there for you just click on the link below if you want to book a call with me okay now with that said now you know how to use modifiers and why modifiers but i haven't explained what are modifiers <laughs> see this is so crazy modifiers are basically extension to a node's default or standard set of parameters which are present in inspector okay which we just used and just saw to enable one what you can do is right click and choose modify with and you'll have this menu and you can select one in fact publish business client these are all some modifiers we'll talk about all modifiers now each parameter won't have the same set of modifiers numeric values text polylines gradients and points each have different sets of modifiers once you will add a modifier it will be visible in the modifiers tab in the inspector see we, we know this already why because i just implemented it in front of you before explaining the theoretical part of it. i practically implemented and executed it that's the power of practicality okay i'm not saying that theory is waste of time you need theory because then only you will have the information about it but both are relative to each other they both need both if you just know the theory then nothing will happen because you are not implementing it if you're just implementing it you won't be as creative because you don't know the information about it much so you need both 
You can add modifiers which have animated keyframes. There are many modifiers. Now, since this video has been so long, what I'm thinking to do is explaining all the modifiers in the upcoming ones. So please stay tuned, subscribe to the channel if you haven't, and press that notification bell so that you don't miss any upcoming videos. And again, I'm saying if you need anything, all the links are provided in the description below. If you need some project files, go in the description below. I will find some of them. If you like any of them, please purchase it. Now, if you need to have people like you or want to talk to someone which is like-minded then you need to do one thing which is joining our discord server very beautiful people helping each other growing together and i think that you will like it there so what you need to do is click on the link below which is right in the description there will be a discord server join it right now asap there are some challenges which i'm planning to do and yeah there will be some prizes too if you have any sort of problem which you want help with related to editing motion graphics technicals of fusion page or anything like that just book a call with me i'm telling you it will be really really helpful and with that said if you want to learn about mass notes you know what to do you need to just watch the previous video which i just uploaded which is really really helpful for the beginners out there okay will make you stand out because a lot of information is provided over there so all right guys that's a wrap up for me and see you in the next one till then stay creative and keep learning and keep growing